Hey guys, I want to talk to you about nets. So as we're studying volume and surface area, surface area in particular, it's helpful to know what a shape looks like if you were to flatten it out. And that is what a net is. Um, so I've attached this um, informational page to my school, which you should print out and just keep as a reference. So it's just going to show you pictures of what each of our common three-dimensional shapes look like um, as a net or as a flattened out version of it. So um, again, you should print this out and keep it available as you're doing our surface area problems. Um, but so let me just show you what some of these look like in real life. So for example, this is a net of a cube and what that means is if I take this shape and then I've already pre-folded everything but when I fold it up like this I end up with a cube. All right? So that's going to help us when we do the surface area because if we know what the net looks like then we know the areas of each of the shapes that we need to add together to get the surface area. So surface area is like if you were wrapping a present you would need wrapping paper enough to cover all these sides, right? So it's just the area of the surface, of the exterior of the shape, whereas the volume figures out how much you could fit inside that present, right? So volume fills up the inside like that. How much can I fit into that spot? But surface area is how much area is covered on the surface, right? So that is the net of a cube. Um, the next one on that sheet and one that we've already talked about, we call it different names. We call this a rectangular prism, um, but actually they call it a cuboid. I guess it is a little bit different than what we did. If we fold that up, it ends up looking like this, right? It is a prism uh, because it has two identical bases, these two squares that are parallel to each other. Right? But when we unfold it, we get this. So we have four identical rectangles and then these two squares on either end that become the parallel bases. All right, another one that we talked about is this kind of Toblerone shape where when we fold that up we end up getting a triangular prism. So two triangular bases that are identical that are parallel to each other. But what it consists of is in this particular case, two identical, it looks like equilateral triangles, a rectangle here that is, you know, I'm not sure what this is, it looks about an inch here, but then two other rectangles right here, which are not necessarily the same size as this, so I guess this can't be equilateral. Um, but anyway, as we draw, um, as we try and figure out the surface area of something like that, we'll have to think about the three different rectangles that we have there and the two triangles. Uh, another one that we have is a pyramid that has a square base. All right, and again, if we fold that up, we end up with what looks like like one of the pyramids at Giza. All right, so a square base right there. And when we would make this, we would find the surface area, four identical triangles, and then this one square. Uh, another one that we have is a triangular pyramid. Again, all pyramid sides are triangles, but this one has a triangular base too. Um, that sheet calls it a tetrahedron. Tetra meaning four. Hedron, uh, I think, is a word for a three-dimensional, many-sided shape. All right, and then uh, the, they show a picture of a cone. I didn't cut that one out. Uh, they have, they do not show a pentagonal pyramid, which we would have right here. Uh, so you can see the pentagon as the base and then five identical triangles right here. And when we fold it up, we get a nice pyramid like this. Uh, pyramid meaning all the points come together at one point at the top and a pyramid base. And then the other one I have to show you is a cylinder. All right. The net looks like this, where we have two identical circles right there. And then when we roll out the sides, this is like the label on a can, if you think about that, uh, it is a rectangle. So when we fold that up, this one's a little bit more difficult to do because we don't get to bend all the sides, but we would end up with something like that. All right? 
So those are nets, and you're going to need those as we start talking about the surface area. And I'm going to ask you to practice drawing the nets as we do these, uh, the surface area problems, just so that we can go through and say, oh, I have a hexagonal pyramid. I need to find the area of the hexagon that's the base and six identical triangles right there. Or if we have a hexagonal prism, again, prism means two parallel identical bases. Here are the two bases, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six identical rectangular sides that we need to find the area of. So um, keep this handy. It's going to help us with that. Think about what the nets look like. I did attach a, um, a pack of printable ones uh, that you can cut out that look like the ones I just showed you right there if you're interested in doing that. Um, so I think that's it for right now. We'll practice finding the surface area uh, in another video. Bye.